What's happening guys? We're back and I still don't have a 5 8 inch drill bit. Alright, so I don't have a drill bit for the front suspension, so we gotta put that on pause. Uh, but there's lots of other projects on the car. So today I think we're gonna tackle the, uh, the mounting plates for the roll cage. Um, we did some up at the front for the front hoop. Now we need to build some for the main hoop here. So the main hoop's gonna attach onto the top of this bulkhead. So we need to cut, same thing like we did there, we need to cut four plates, two that are gonna get welded onto the chassis, and then two that'll bolt onto those that we can then build our roll cage off of. Uh, we are gonna bolt through this chunk of square tubing on the top of the, the rear bulkhead. So we're also gonna have to cut some, uh, some little bolt through sleeves and weld those into the tubing. So when we go to bolt the roll cage down, we don't just crush this tubing. So let's uh, grab some plate and get to work. There's all four of our mounting plates. Um, I took and kind of squished them together in the vise and just tack welded along all four corners. That way when we drill our, our bolt holes in them, they'll all be in the exact same spot. Uh, and then we can just take and separate these out into to two matched pairs. Uh, I also went over to the lathe and cut up a couple of uh, spacers, or sleeves I guess. So we'll drill a hole out of that, uh, that rear bulkhead and then these will get welded in there and those lacked as our crush tubes. So the next step is mark all these plates out for the four bolts that'll hold them together and then head over to the drill press and drill them out. There's our four identical plates, all drilled and sanded up. Now one thing to keep in mind anytime you're working with flat bar is it tends to kind of have a bit of a crown in it. So what I did is I actually matched up two with the crown going this way and two with the crown going this way. So now we can take these, ooh, they're still hot. We can take these four and split them like this and then all the bolt holes are in the exact same spot even if we go you know side to side so i'm going to label these and then we can get to kind of figuring out placement on the chassis
All right guys, I don't know if you noticed on that last weld there, I had to put it on with a whole bunch of little tack welds because uh, my welder won't maintain an arc. Every time I light it off, it gives off kind of this high pitched humming noise and then the arc uh, goes away. So I have to keep constantly relighting my arc. But I managed to get the crush tubes in on both sides. Um, we are gonna have to do something different for the second bolt up here because the bolt hole that I drilled lands right on top of the upright for the rear bulkhead. So I didn't plan that out very well. Instead of putting a crush tube in, what we're gonna have to do is weld a, a nut to the back side of this plate and just have that as kind of a captive nut. But without a welder, uh, I can't really do that. So I'm gonna call an episode there. Uh, I'm gonna troubleshoot the welder and then hopefully by next episode, it's working again and we can continue on this project. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button uh, and come back next episode. I'm out of here.